Hey guys, I'm back. I have a mysterious white little box. Although you've probably already seen the thumbnail for this video, so you know exactly what's in it. But, uh, interesting story. So, I might as well just take it out of the box. So, this is the 20 in 1 keychain multi tool. It's tiny. I saw this in a, I think, a Facebook ad, or there was a Facebook ad, and I clicked on to look at something, and then it was like the rest of their inventory, they had something like this, the, the Fixer 20 tools in one. They were selling this thing for nearly 20 bucks. And I was interested, I wanted to take a look, I wanted to check it out, and I was thinking about getting it. And I kind of put it in the cart, you know, with a couple other things, and I never completed it, I can't remember why, I just didn't. A few days after that, I was on Amazon, I ordered something, and then it did the whole recommendations, and I, you know, I just, I, I always go from, like, one to another to another, like, I, I just hop from page to page to page. And this thing popped up under a different name, but the price was $8.47, instead of, like, $19.99 or something like that. And as soon as I saw that, I said, okay, that, done, sold. Uh, I have to get that now and check it out. So, this is the Fixer 20 and 20 in 1 multi-tool. Um, it, it's interesting. I've already looked at it. So this isn't like a straight unboxing where I'm seeing it for the first time, but I just wanted to kind of take a look before I showed it on camera. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so we get the details down a little bit more. I wanted to get a sense of what the tools were and what we were looking at and how you set them all up because it's not as intuitive as you might think, like, like some of the tools. And it, it doesn't, this thing is not as self-explanatory. I'm going to tell you outright, this is the kind of thing where I think if you, if you have an extra nine bucks to throw around and you just want something nifty to be like, hey, look at my nifty thing, go for it. Um, <clears throat> if, you, if you don't feel like you have an extra nine bucks to throw around right now, watch the rest of this video to see what's on it and then say, um, when I have an extra nine bucks I don't care about, I'll get one, but right now it's not for me. Ethan is running around the living room. Ethan, are you Kylo Ren right now? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah, he's Kylo Ren right now red lightsaber and all. Um, so, number one, it's cool that it's small. It's lightweight and it offers a multitude of tools. Not all of them are very convenient though. If you notice, here I come with my nitpicking, these screwdriver bits, yeah, they're cool that they come in different sizes, but if you can't maneuver this tiny little thing right into place where you need it, it's not gonna do you much good. And you know, there are a lot of situations where the rest of this may not let you get that right where it needs to be. But there are a lot of situations where it would work, so go for it. Um, other things that I don't like. So it says 20 in one tool, right? Um, take a look at number four. Quick release clip. So this little carabiner clip to put it on and clip it on stuff, that's one of your tools. Yeah, that's a tool. Like, that's going to help you get work done. So right there, you're actually down to 19 tools. Because guess what? That's not a tool. That's not something you use. That's that's your clip. That's like, that's like if they were to say that a pocket clip on your knife is a secondary tool. Like, you've got your blade and the pocket clip. It's a two-in-one. No. That's a clip for putting it on stuff. And um, look at number three right above it, by the way. Bottle opener. So, hashtag no more bottle openers. Um, so that is not only a, a clip, but that is also a bottle opener in there. Now, I could buy, a, if you want to say that it's a bottle opener as a tool, but a bottle opener is not a tool. You're not getting work done with a bottle opener, unless you are paid to drink. And if you are, please send me an application and put in a reference for me. But, so, r right away, some of these things, okay, it, like, it, and that happens often when you get these little multi-tools. So 20 tools in one drops down to the teens pretty quick as we go through there. Like, number 12. Number 12 is a nail cleaner. Not like a nail, like like uh, you're gonna hammer nails, not that you would need to clean those anyway, but like fingernails, like under your fingernails. And some of you are gonna say like, oh, you need to clean your nails. Maybe I do, but that's not what I'm buying a multi-tool for. So anyway, let's go through this. So number one, you've got a measuring ruler. And you've got, <clears throat> Two inches on the ruler right there and that could be of use I could see that being kind of a useful thing on the reverse side of that tool number 20 by the way is a file now this is a very it's not a very um what's the word I'm looking for coarse file it's really it's it's not so you can feel a little bit of it on the edge over there I guess you could use it to file something down 
where it's not very sharp, you can use it on your nails, I guess. Like, I can make my nails all pretty and make some of those people that comment on my nails all the time happy. What is it, mister? You putting your pants back on? Do you need help? No. Okay. Um, all right, you do it. Um, but so it's got a file, but it's not a really, it's not a great effective file, but it's there. <clears throat> Number two, you've got a wire stripper. Now, I think the wire stripper is really only a wire stripper right now when you've got this thing right here is a wire stripper, and it works in conjunction with the blade that you would use as your cutting blade. So there's your wire stripper right there as part of this brass plate that fits over it. Number three is bottle opener. We already talked about the bottle opener. Hashtag number of bottle openers. Hashtag stop bottle opener madness. Number four is your quick release clip. We already talked about that. Number five, they say, is a box opener. Now, this is where it gets confusing. So if you look and, you know, you look at number five on here, it could point to multiple things at multiple times. Um, number five on here is actually, is this thing right here. This is the box opener. Um, it's not a sharp blade at all. It's really not. Um, so I could see you open, yeah, this would, you know, you puncture through tape and stuff with this, but it's not a sharpened blade, which I guess is good too, because that way you're not risking having this thing, oh, sorry about the folks there, you're not risking having this thing confiscated. Um, TSA would probably find an excuse to take this away anyway, because they have to justify their own existence. But, uh, you know, there's no actual knife blade on here except for this embedded one in the middle for cutting cords and stuff. But you've got your box, and they are very careful to call it a box opener, not a box cutter. Number six is a one quarter inch wrench. So if we give this guy a little twist, you've got a one quarter inch wrench over there at the number six spot. Listed as number 15 is the 5 16th wrench down below it. You did it all by yourself. Good job. You didn't even need help. Yay. You did a great job. Let me finish this video. Then we're going to get lunch, okay? Now rotating it back, and I'm just doing this to, to follow the pictures here. This is your small... And I'm just, I'm doing this to show you that it, it doesn't really match up. They say number seven is a small Phillips head screwdriver. Number seven looks like it's pointing. Take a look where number seven is. Now you'd think that it's, it's pointing up, right? Like that tool's up. That's number seven. Number seven on the card is actually pointing over here. I, I don't know. It took me a while to figure this out. That's why I'm glad I took a look at this before just doing a straight unboxing. So number seven is your small, and it's labeled for you there. Small Phillips head screwdriver. Number nine. And this doesn't match at all. Because if you look at the shape on the card. And then you look at the actual shape of the tool. You've got a rounded edge of your box opener. But this gives you a flattened edge. But you could still use it. I could see. I mean you could see. Yeah that could be a medium flat screwdriver. Sure why not. Even though it's not a flat screwdriver at all. Number 11, right there, that little cutout, that's your bicycle spoke wrench. I'm not an avid bike rider, so, you know, you guys would know better than me. Let me know, but at least it's labeled. Oh, number 12, back at the top here, that's for cleaning out your fingernails and making them all pretty and stuff. Don't want to confuse that with your small flathead screwdriver. See, it's flat, and that's, like, not. I think that would get under my fingernail better than that would. But okay. Number 10 over there is your large flathead screwdriver. Skip that. Sorry. So, you know, you've got your medium, your flat. So a lot of this has to do with just, like, positioning the tool in different places and figuring out what stuff is. 13, they say, is your razor-sharp cutting blade. So you use that for, I don't know, 550 cord. Let's check it out real quick. I guess getting the leverage here would be the first part. Razor sharp, razor, razor sharp. Come on, razor sharp. Huh. No, it didn't, it just slipped out of my hand. Um, razor sharp. I'm trying to get something to cut razor sharp. I don't know. Maybe if we have more cord and we get better leverage. So razor sharp, I guess, is a relative term. Um, it's not doing too much. Could probably sharpen it. You can see it's removable there. So you can take that off and hone that edge a little bit. Sharpen it and make it better. 
Down towards the bottom there, there's your medium Phillips head screwdriver. We were talking about the 516 wrench. 16 is a pry bar. So this whole thing is number 16. So there's your, your pry bar. Um, you just use this whole thing to get up under there and, and pry something. And you actually, you know what, for like a small job, this could work out pretty well because you can actually get a pretty good grip on it. Looking on the inside there, you see the cutouts? You then have a uh, 3 8 and a half inch and a 9 16 wrench moving in there in those cutouts. And there you can see the printing, the labeling is just barely visible underneath there. And that adds up to 20 tools. And this, of course, this rotates 360 degrees to get whatever you want out, however you want it. Um, <clears throat> well, I looked at it and I said that might be something cool to have, you know, in a bug out bag or just clipped something at work. Or I keep forgetting I, I don't have uh, the same work I used to have anymore, but I'm still looking for things. Uh, I was really hopeful for this when I first saw it. And, um, uh, you know, now I'm just like, here, let me, um, let me put this here and then I don't have to put any text in. Save me the trouble. Cool. Uh, I, I was really hopeful. I, and I guess, you know what? I'm not putting it down. I bet there are people that can get a lot of use out of this every single day. I just, I have issues with the way a lot of the tools are set up. First of all, I think two of the tools are not tools. I think at the most you're getting 18 tools. Um, I think that that nail cleaner is not a tool I'm ever going to use. So now I'm down to 17. This file, as far as I'm concerned, is barely a file. So now I'm down to 16. Granted, I'm not bitching. I still have 16 tools in one. Uh, but it's just, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Now, they don't list this thing at all right here in between their pry bar, which could also be, you know, if you sharpened it up and you honed it, could also be used to cut cord. Um, it's almost sharpened as is that right there but you know it's not but i mean it almost is so and yeah they don't have that listed as anything so you know it, like i said on amazon it's the fixer 20 tools in one eight dollars and some change nine dollars once again prime member free shipping you might want to look into it you might not if you have been looking into it maybe this has either sold you or warned you off of it i don't know it's a trap you guys, you know, decide for yourselves. Like always, you know, I just give you my opinions. I open the box, I look at the stuff, I tell you what I think of it. Um, sometimes I highlight some facts. Sometimes I just tell you what I think. Sometimes I do a little mix of both, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really... I, I was hoping you'd have more of a nifty factor, you know what I mean? Like, a, hey, that's cool. Anyway, there's that. Because I still think, though, somebody could get good use out of this, I know somebody out there could, this is going in the giveaway. So, stay tuned for the giveaway video going live in just a couple more days, or a few, depending. My standard uh, three plugs at the end of the video now. Um, check the video description um, for a link to my Patreon page if you want to join my super cool Patreon team and see what that's all about and how you can help this channel be even better and have cooler stuff. Also, uh, if you want the email addresses for where you can send me a Q&A question for the next Q&A video and where you can actually send me an email if you have an idea for a video or a specific uh, request for what you want to see on this channel. But other than that... Um, I, I'm let down by this thing. I, I don't know how you guys feel. I, this this let me down a lot. And I, should, I shouldn't have even gotten my hopes up for it, even looking at it. I should have known it was not as cool as it, as I was let on, to, to as I allowed myself to think it was. But, you know, you always have hope. Every time, you know, you gotta have hope. Otherwise, everything is just a big old piece of shit. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you. You are all awesome. Best viewers in the entire YouTube community. Um... Stand by for that giveaway video. I can't wait to do this giveaway. I, I, I think I've come up with a really good formula for how we're going to do it with how many people want to enter and how much stuff we're giving away, I think. We'll see how it works out, but I'll be back in real soon.